<clears throat> Good evening, everybody. We're going to call the meeting of July. What is it? Eighth. Nice. Eighth. Don't have my glasses to order. Then can we have the roll call, please? Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Here. Council Members Achera. Here. Donlin. Here. Fisher. Here. And Mayor Siciliano. Here. Everybody, please rise for a pledge of allegiance and then please remain standing for a moment of silent prayer thereafter. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. Thank you. The notice requirement for this meeting has been advertised. A copy of the annual notice was sent to the Azure Park Press Coaster, posted in Town Hall, and filed in the office of the Municipal Clerk on December 30, 2020. There are two fire exits, one to my left, which will take you out to the back of the building and meander you to the parking lot, and one to my right, which will take you out to the front parking lot. If you have a cell phone, I kindly ask that you turn it off. We tape these meetings, and the ambient noise from your phone will interfere. If you have to make a call or take a call, kindly go out into the hallway. You can do that out there. And be mindful we may be able to hear you then as well. Before we get started on the uh, regular agenda, we have some council comments. I'm going to make a quick announcement first this time. Usually I go last, but I'm going to go first. Uh, first and foremost, I want to welcome Mr. David Brown on board here as our new township manager. We're proud and honored to have him join our team. I know he has a steady hand, vast knowledge. And so we're really glad to have Dave aboard and keep the town moving in a forward trajectory. So welcome, Dave. Thank you, Mayor. And secondly, very pleased to announce one of the Dave's first orders of business was to appoint a new police chief. And so we're honored to say that Mr. Sorrentino, Captain Sorrentino, has had such a promotion. And uh, he will start effective tomorrow, a new chief, uh, Mr. Michael Sorrentino. Mike, stand up. I think that's great. <laughs> we are honored and proud he's been many years in the police department he's put in great service to us and he's proven himself and he deserves a position i think he's going to do great things for the township and the department and uh, so welcome mike with that i'm going to turn it over to john you have anything yes mayor uh, i want to echo those sentiments on uh, dave brown coming aboard welcome um looking really forward to working with you uh on board in ocean township best wishes and uh, congratulations mike to our new chief Good luck in that position. Um, I know it's a lot to do. I had the utmost faith in you. I want to thank uh, Jen Nordstrom and her crew last night. They did a fantastic job with our um, the band that played and the fireworks uh, that were pretty good for a small show. I think that you know we were pretty lucky there last night. Uh, the weather held off, which was nice, other than the heat. And uh, one final announcement, the Township of Ocean Italian American Association will be having their festival this year back to normal uh, starting August 11th through August 15th. We look forward to a big crowd this year as we did miss last year. Thank you, Great. Mayor. Those fireworks almost lit themselves. It was so hot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was hot last night. Marge, do you have anything? So I'd just like to also say welcome to Dave Brown um, and congratulations to our new chief. Thank you. Beautiful. Dave? I'm going to say the same thing. Uh, Dave, welcome aboard. We're glad to have you. Look forward to great things and look forward to being uh, part of the township. Uh, congratulations, Mike. Well, job well done. We're glad to have you. Uh, I do want to also thank Jen and Mike Butrico, Department of Public Works and OTPD. We had an excellent night last night. Unfortunately, the weather didn't uh, so, sort of sabotage us on uh, the first, but I think it really was a great night. I also want to encourage, you know, in the future, the residents to come out to these events. They're they're excellent events. It's a great use of our field and our uh, our resources. So, you know, come out and enjoy a great night out. I do want to let everybody know that we had our first public hearing on the master plan reexamination. Uh, we got some great feedback. So the public will get a second shot at this. It, it will not be at the next planning board meeting, which is on the 26th of this month. Most likely it'll be the August or September meeting. I'll let you guys know about that. But uh, for those of you out there who have not filled out the survey, there's still time. So uh, feel free, and that all goes back to uh, Mr. Ron Kirk, and that is all I've got. Great. Good stuff, Dave. Thanks. Yep. Rob? Congratulations, Dave. Good luck. Congratulations, Mike. Good luck. Italian American Festival as well. Um, great job, Jen and Mike, last night. And I'll add one thing. Uh, Chamber of Commerce meeting this morning. Uh, we have our date, which uh, Marty is running. Um, the golf outing is scheduled for Monday, September the 20th at Jumping Brook. Uh, for you golfers and for your non-golfers. Uh, if you're interested in registering to 
uh, play, you can go on the Greater Ocean Township, excuse me, the Greater Ocean Township Chamber of Commerce website uh, to register to play. And if you're interested in any type of sponsorships, please call the Chamber office. They will be happy to take your money for a longest drive, a hole, a flag, whatever you'd like to donate for. So um, again, uh, Monday, September the 20th, if you're interested. Thank you, Mayor. Good. Thank you. Dave. Nothing for this evening, Mr. Great. Marty. I might as well jump on the bandwagon. Might as well. I knew you would. Yeah, I mean, uh, last but not least, congratulations, Dave. Congratulations, Mike. Very well done. It's going to be great. All right. Well, thank you guys all for that. We're going to guess we'll have a swearing in soon, a formal one, right? We're going to put something together for one of the meetings. But we'll get you on board tomorrow morning. You hit the streets there, brother, <laughs> okay, so to speak. All right. Also, uh, I do want to say those events that we have, as mentioned here by Dave, um, that Jen puts on, we get those funded through private donations, which is great. So we have some very generous sponsors. So a big shout out to our, our annual sponsors, uh, Shrewsbury Volkswagen, Gino DeLomo. They are our annual platinum sponsor. And also uh, Robbie Silverstein and the Silverstein family at Middlebrook. They're also platinum sponsors. Marty Arbus's firm is a sponsor. So is Sanford Brown, Esquire, and a few others. So without their generous support, we couldn't offer those movies and drive-ins. And people love them. So come on out to the next one. I think we're going to try to put something together at the end of the month. Okay. Back to our agenda. The purpose of the public portion is to solely ask questions, understand resolutions that appear on agenda, and not a time for a comment of the public hearing on an ordinance. All questions related to an item on this agenda should be asked to in the public comments portion at the conclusion of the meeting. So in other words, you'll have time at the end of the meeting to say anything germane to the township that's on your mind. But right now, if you, anybody has anything that's on the consent agenda or on the resolutions that are presented tonight, if you have anything that you want to say about that, now would be the time to step up to the microphone and state your name and address for the record. Seeing and hearing no one. Someone please offer. Oh, you gotta use oh. Public use. oh, I'm sorry, we do right here. We have public hearing number one, community development block grant. If any of your phone's on, let me just turn it off for you. <laughs> I don't know why you left it here. But he did, he left it right in front of me. Our clerk, I don't know why he did that. I turned it off for him. It's all fit. Thanks, Mayor. You're always so good to me. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so we're gonna have a public hearing on a community development block grant. And this is for the putting green at the William F. Larkin Golf Course at Colonial Terrace. So any of you are familiar with the our beautiful little golf course over there, which is really beautiful. We took down the old red house, and we're going to go back to putting a nice little putting green over there for a little practice. And so we have a little public hearing here. So someone please open the public hearing on PH1. I will open the public hearing on PH1. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Member Zichera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sosiana. Yes. Anybody from the public wishing to be heard on this uh, development uh, grant? Now step up to the microphone, state your address, name and address for the record. Uh, Sheila McCord, Fort you could, Davis. You can move it down. Yep. Then tippy toe. Yeah, I know. Let's see how we do. Uh, Sheila McCord, Fort David Street. Uh, I was just wondering is this the time to ask? Is it going to be synthetic, grass, sod? That's, you know, you can ask that at this time, yeah. Okay. So. I don't, know if we in, know. I don't know who's yeah it didn't say in the ordinance it, what they were going to put yeah down. in the plans it does uh, well it didn't say in the in the advertisement so we can check with the engineer and get back to you if is that go ahead. is that going to be in-house well no what's going to happen is we have a grant now we're going to bid it out and then they'll probably get prices on both synthetic and also uh, probably a pervious turf so we'll, we'll get an idea once we get the bids out there so the design would also be contracted out uh, most likely A to Z. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep, that's what the grant's okay. for. Yeah, you're welcome. Anybody else on this one? No. Someone please make a motion to close the public hearing on the community block grant. I'll make a motion to close the public hearing on PH1 community development block grant. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council members of Chera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. Um, so action please on the community block grant. I'll make a motion to approve uh, PH1 Community Development Block Grant and publish according to law. Beautiful. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members of Chera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. So back to our consent agenda and the resolutions here. 
We have no one right for the public that wish to be heard on those. Someone please offer the resolutions. I'll make a motion to consent agenda. I'll make a motion to approve the uh, consent agenda. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. Also resolutions 21-132 through 21-141. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. And also for individual action, we have vouchers in amount of $6,722,409.17. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. For individual action, we have resolutions 21138, authorize the extension of an interlocal service agreement between the Township of Ocean, Borough of Eaton Town for Emergency Dispatch Service for a one year period of July 1st, 2021 through June 30, 2022. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. And 21139 authorize the appointment of Daisy G. Brown as a township's qualified purchasing agent and increase the bid threshold from 40000 to 44000 Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. 21140 approve change order number two for the refurbishment of the pool and bathhouse awarded to MTB LLC increasing the contract amount by $22,450 from 163,750 to 186,200. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes, in 21142, authorize the tax collector to issue refunds and credits to those taxpayers who have received favorable state tax appeal judgments. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. And tonight for adoption, we have a couple of ordinances. Ordinance number 2358. Ben, would you read the title, sure. please? An ordinance amending Chapter 12 of the revised general ordinances prohibiting parking along portions of Roosevelt Avenue. Okay. Someone uh, please open the public hearing on Ordinance 2358. I'd like to make a motion to open the public hearing on Ordinance 2358. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. Anybody wishing to be heard on Ordinance 2358? Now is the time to step up to the microphone and state your name and address for the record. No, Dave? No? Nobody? I didn't want you to. <laughs> you know, it's up to you. Okay. All right. Now is the time for you to public comment, but nobody else? Okay. Make a motion to close the public hearing on 2358. I'd like to make a motion to close the uh, public hearing on Ordinance 2358. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achara. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. Uh, action, please, on 2358. I'd like to move to adopt Ordinance 2358 and publish according to law. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achara. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Uh, yes. Okay. And next up, we have Ordinance Number 2359 for adoption. Then would you read the title, please? An ordinance amending and supplementing Chapter t 2 of the Revised General Ordinances, adding Section 2-17. Okay. Someone please open the public hearing on Ordinance 2359. I'd like to make a motion to open the uh, public hearing on Ordinance 2359. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. Uh, anybody from the public wish to be heard on Ordinance 2359? Now would be the time to step up to the microphone and state your name and address for the record. Seeing or hearing no one, someone please make a motion to close the public hearing on Ordinance 2359. I'd like to make a motion to close the public hearing on Ordinance 2359. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. Uh, action please on 2359. I'd like to move to adopt uh, Ordinance 2359 and publish according to law. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. And finally, for adoption, we have Ordinance 2360. Then we'll read that title, please. Sure. An ordinance amending Ordinance 2338 entitled An Ordinance Fixing Salaries and Compensation of Certain Offices, Positions, and Employees for the Township. Great. Someone please open a public hearing on 2360. 
I'd like to make a motion to open the public hearing on Ordinance 2360. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Member Zachara. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. Um, anybody from the public wishing to be heard on 2360? State your name and address for the record. Well, seeing and hearing no one, so I'm please close the public hearing on Ordinance 2360. I'd like to make a motion to close the public hearing on Ordinance 2360. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Member Zachara. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. Uh, action, please, on 2360. I'd like to move to adopt Ordinance 2360 and publish according to law. Second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. And tonight, for introduction only, we have two ordinances 2361. Then would you read the title? Sure. An ordinance amending and supplementing Ordinance 2343, entitled An Ordinance Amending and Revised General Ordinances of the Township of Ocean as it pertains to the personnel policies, practices, and procedures. Great. Someone please introduce Ordinance 2361. I'd like to move to introduce Ordinance 2361. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Member Zachera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes, that'll have its public hearing on August 5th meeting at 8-5, August 5th. All right, second one up is uh, 2362. And would you read the title? Sure. An ordinance amending and supplementing Chapter 21 of the Land Development and Chapters 3, 5, 13, and 16 of the Code of the Township of Ocean establishing land use regulations and licensing requirements for cannabis establishments. Okay, someone please introduce Ordinance Number 2362. I'd like to move to introduce Ordinance 2362. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achara. No. F uh, Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. And uh, that also will have its public hearing on August 5th. So at this time, I invite anybody. One other public. thing, and that will also be forwarded to the planning board for their review. Oh, yes. Uh, and that will be forwarded to the planning board for their review. Thank you. <laughs> Got it in there. <laughs> I want it to be on the record. If anybody has anything from the public, now would be the time to come up to the microphone and state your name and address for the record. Jack? Jack Kearns, Beecroft Place. Uh, on 2362, there was one no vote. Uh, what was the reason for the no vote? Was there? I think we. Right now, the state hasn't officially provided us with enough guidance on what the guidelines are going to be for cannabis sales in the state. In the uh, well, in the state, so we have an option of passing a resolution that doesn't allow us to do anything. But once the regulations are out by the state, that we can amend it. So I say we should wait instead of rushing to it. So you don't have an objection per se, but just to the pause or the waiting period that you feel is important, appropriate. Is uh, that I would say no, I do have an objection, but that, that is one of the major, more major objections. I'm going to lose anyway. It's going to pass probably 3 2 or 4 1, but regardless, I think we should wait. Thank you. That's all I had. Well, anybody else? No? I want to thank you all for joining us. Again, congratulations, Chief. And we will see you tomorrow. Thank you all for coming. You want to make a motion to adjourn the meeting? Motion to adjourn. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes, meeting adjourned. Thank you all for joining.